right guys so my hair is all damp um, and I am gonna start out with going ahead and doing a treatment for protection I do defy damage um, this is one of the mini sizes Joico they also have a great um, hair mask the K pack that is fantastic um, I do about this much all over my hair really concentrating at the ends because that is where all my dead ends are and this is just how I do it I am NOT a licensed um, cosmetologist I'm a licensed esthetician I tried hair school first highlights were the bane of my existence so it did not go so well so this is just what I like and for me working in salons and asking everybody like what to use and what's the best so I start out with that now I will tell you what I use weekly for my um, washing my hair and everything I wash my hair very rarely just because as since I dye my hair and I dye it red um, I like to have something volumizing that's not going to damage my hair and I love IGK I do the 30,000 feet shampoo but then I also do the 30,000 feet um, conditioner these are great together I really like them too so after I've gone through you can see my hair looks pretty red there is a trick for all of us especially right now as we are going through this uh, whole pandemic where we can't get to our hair stylist um, I use these two products um, there's a company called Caracolor and it's a gloss and conditioner now basically a gloss and conditioner is half conditioner half um, hair color it's just going to kind of help revive your uh, hair color for a little bit um, I really like it uh, what I do is I do the red and I section my hair and I really do it from here all the way down I do it in two sections making sure it's really saturated and then I also mix in the hot pink and I just like that because it gives a little extra dimension and so I go in and I do that and I put it I wrap my hair all around and I have it in a um, just wrapping my hair so it really saturates I have it in a shower cap making sure that it's not staining anywhere in my bathroom because this does stain um, I have stained some red in my bathroom which stinks I got a Clorox it but I'm trying to get my hair looking as cute as possible so the easiest way for me especially since my hair is so long um, I always learn to start with the ends of your hair and work your way up. Um, I personally really like this. Um, this is called the Finger Brush from Olivia Garden. And this one's really good um, just for getting my hair detangled. Um, having longer hair. Longer hair means that you are going to get more tangles. So really going through detangling my hair takes a while but without using that nice um, intensive nice conditioner right before this makes a big difference because my hair feels super soft so now that I've got it done pretty good and I've got my bangs or fringe however you want to call it um, I do remember in school they always said I always call it fringe but I'm so used to saying bangs and I do self cut my bangs Lauren I swear uh, one of my uh, my manager uh, is so ready for her to cut my bangs she, she's a bangaholic so she's cutting mine next and I'm just getting this last little bit this brush makes a big difference 
So I like volume. I like kind of tousled, um, thick looking hair. I've got a lot of hair, but you can see it's pretty thin. So what I use is another IGK product, and this is called Next Level Nordic Cotton. This stuff is awesome. Um, I take it in little sections, and I spray it really at the roots all the way down. You want to make sure you've got everything. And it smells really good, but with this, it's a huge plumper for your hair. I love that. Um, I also add in a little bit, since I have some bit of a natural wave, and I like kind of the more tousled, beachy, I don't care that I did my hair, even though it really takes me like 30 minutes to do my hair. Um, I also do the Redken Curvaceous for waves, and this is the one called Wind Up. And I just put this really on my ends, all over, and kind of shake it up a little bit. Now first, of course, my bangs, they've, they've got to be blow dry first. So this is one that I have from Hot Tools. I've used Hot Tools for so long, uh, it's crazy. I would love the Dyson and everything. It is not in my budget, but this one is awesome. <laughs> That's all I like to do for it. Um, I do really go back and forth, that way it's going to have just some movement, but my big thing is I just want it out of my face. Um, so I go into sections, and get everything up. Um, if you try to blow dry your hair, in one big chunk, just gonna be like halfway done. Uh, for me, it's either do it all or just put my hair up in a bun and let it just air dry. Um, today, I just want it actually looking cute, so.
have a lot more texture. And I really go in and kind of just press it on the bottom. Um, it has taken me about two years for my hair to get this length. So I do baby my hair a lot. I wash it probably about once a week. Between, I do uh, just condition it. The dry shampoo I use is usually Batiste, and I love that. It makes my hair feel good. I'm going in just with the feet being really low. And you can see the ends. It still looks shiny from having the Nordic cotton. And they still have that nice texture that was added with the curl defining. This is pretty much how I do my hair every day. If I'm going to get it blown out professionally, um, I'm like make it as more like beachy as anything because whenever my hair is like super, super straight, I just do not feel like myself. Um, but that's every person. So this is how my hair looks after it's all nice and blow dried and those are the products that i use the most um igk has some great stuff but that nordic cotton is great and even though i need a bang trim desperately lauren i'm waiting till i see you so that's how i do my hair basically every day